We're going to break down how I shot and edited this photo. It's a really tricky one because you're essentially pointing the camera right at a big giant mirror with tons of reflections. So let's see where we started and how we got here. You can see I took a ton of frames here. And as I was going through these and culling them, I gave the ones that I was going to use a red star. But let's look at all of them first to see what we started out with. So here we're kind of just messing around with the staging a little bit. Uh, you can see in the reflection there was a uh, plant here and then the shower handle wasn't all the way up. So we fixed that and now we're just kind of testing things a little bit and put in a coral to see if that works. We didn't like it. Uh, we also kind of untwisted the handle over here or the little, uh, I don't know, the pipe. What do you call that? Whatever that thing is. Anyways, uh, now I'm testing out different flashes, trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. Another thing you'll notice is that you can see the tripod legs right here. And behind the camera is a big door and a window behind that. So we had to put up a curtain in front of that window because the window was really bright. and It was creating even more reflections in this class. So here I am going around just kind of test popping flashes. Then I brought out the big gun. So you can see I switched from a small speed light to the 600. And let's see, I think at about this point, we're good to go. Yeah, so uh, this is one of the frames I ended up using. And let's go ahead and look at all the other frames that I used. So we're just gonna click on the red ones. So got a small pop of flash over here. And in this room, essentially, I knew I was going to have to spray and pray. And that means I'm gonna pop flashes everywhere I can and trying to like get little pieces of our puzzle that we can put together later knowing that it's going to be an absolute nightmare in Photoshop. So here I am inside the shower, popping on the wall, other side of the wall, crouching down, adjust the settings a little bit, darken it up, crouch down on this side, point it down at the ground to get some ceiling or, you know, some upper tile work going on. Uh, here you can see I'm outside the shower. You can see the reflection back here. Um, again, I'm just kind of popping flashes and changing settings. Then I opened up the door. That way we don't have any reflections in this area and we can brush in some of that as well. Uh, then I turned on the light over here. So the light's on now and I'm getting a little bit of action there. And we're back at the beginning. So again, kind of do a spray and pray method here. Now let's go into Photoshop and here's my layered file. You can just see this absolute mess of layers that I had to use. So this was the one I decided that I was gonna start with as my base. Next up, I toggled on this one here, and the whole image looks a bit like this, where I'm on the left side in front of the shower door, pointing up at the ceiling. So we can see how much uh, of this I use. And we kind of have this nice um, pile work that I can use as lines, and that's what I use. So moving on, we turned the light on, and I brushed in this area. You can see just the area shown here is what, what was brushed in from this original shot where I was crouched down and had the door open. And that's still at 100% opacity and a normal layer blend mode. Some of these we're gonna get to where they're less than 100% opacity in different layer blends. So keep your eye on that. Like this one is at 50% opacity. Uh, and this one is just the wood on the cabinet here. So the original shot looked a little something like this. And I'm just gonna brush in some detail on the cabinet. There's before and after. Makes it look a little bit more natural and I like the color there. Now we kind of fix those shadows on the ceiling in this upper part of the tile. So this is all we use. And again, I'm kind of using the tile lines as uh, a nice solid marker of where I can, you know, make my outlines and everything. So this original one looked like this with the door open. Moving on, I'm just gonna brush in a little bit of this where it was bright up top. So just kind of hand blending at this point. That's again, 100% opacity, normal mode. Now we got to get rid of that little door corner and kind of fix our ceiling up here. So that was from this shot where I was popping the flash outside of the shower. Now we kind of darken up the floor and get rid of some of that flashiness down there. So just this area in here inside the shower, that's that 60% opacity. And you can see, again, it was another shot where the flash was outside the shower. Moving along, now we're kind of taking care of this hot spot that's like this uh, 
kind of lowercase r shape up here where the colors get a little bit wonky. So now we can jump into darken mode. So I'm only using this to darken things and that's at 100%. We're gonna go back into darken mode for this one and then we're gonna hand brush in just a little bit more to make that feel a little bit more natural. Uh, the colors and stuff, I'm trying to get rid of some of these dark spots or I'm sorry, light spots. And we're kind of trying to blend in the tiles so that everything just starts to look a little bit more even. This next layer is also in darken mode. We started with an image that looked like this, where I'm crouched down here. And again, I'm just brushing in what needs to be brushed in. This was kind of a manual brushing in by hand, trying to even out those colors. Next up, we go to kind of the right and left side. You can see what's brushed in over here. This whole right wall and then kind of the reflection in the mirror there. Uh, there was, this one is, is in luminosity mode. So it's a good normal mode and we see what this looked like. Whoops, normal mode here. So again, that's me crouching down and I'm just capturing this wall over here. So we'll put that back into luminosity, click back on here. Now we have this layer that looks like this. It's in luminosity mode. Um, once I brushed it in, I decided to brush a little bit of it out. So I put it in this group layer, but you can see just again, kind of evening it out here. So this would have been a shot where the door was open and I'm brushing that in. We're setting it to 60% opacity here. And now this middle section is starting to get a little bit better looking with a lot less reflections and glares in that glass. Move it along. Now we just go to the sink top. So just this area here, the flash direction kind of matters in terms of where the light's coming from and how the, the shape of that sink will look. So I decided I like this one. And honestly, all of this was just nothing but trial and error. So I looked at this and there was kind of this hot spot in the sink and I just went through all my frames and felt like this one looks nice and natural. Uh, and that's what I've been doing this entire time is just kind of looking at what I have, looking at our problem areas and seeing what I have in other frames that I can use to fix the problem area. Moving along our last layer, this one uh, dropped down to 43% opacity. I usually like even numbers, but for some reason I stopped at 43 here. Uh, you can see just the small rectangle there that was used. And this was from a frame where I was crouched down here. Then we go to distraction removal. Not a ton going on here, but we did clean up the floor a little bit and uh, took out the light on the top and you know a few things on the tiles that jumped out at me. Got a little reflection here that remained from a light switch on the wall that was reflected in the mirror. So we took that out and then we moved on to colors. So this floor was a little bit dirty with some kind of mud stuff. The house was still under construction. So I desaturated the whole floor to get it one even color. And then I warmed up the whole floor. So you can see just kind of right here that it was warmed up in that area. Then I gave it just a pop with this curves adjustment layer, warmed up the whole thing with this photo filter layer. Then I darkened up just these areas here with another um, curves adjustment layer and then finally brightened up kind of all the middle here with just uh, you know about a quarter stop here of exposure and there we have our final image now one of the really cool things about this particular photo is that I was able to relicense it to the tile company all it took was one perfectly crafted email to the company and literally the next day they paid me through PayPal it could not have been more simple or quick I absolutely love making extra money from photos that I already have, and I love helping other people to do this too. So I have an entire course where I teach you everything you need to know so you can do this with your interior and architecture photos. And here's the kicker. The amount I sold this one photo for was more than the price of the course. So think about that. You take the course, you learn how to sell your photos, and after your very first sale, you could potentially make your money back and then some. It's a no brainer. So if you want to learn how to sell your photos to product vendors like tile companies, faucet manufacturers, and cabinet makers, go to licenseyourphotos.com and sign up today.